The main difference between an app that you have installed inside your smartphone or inside your tablet that allows you to control or to plan an automatic mission for a drone and a software that is based on your laptop or your PC that uh, allows you to plan a mission for a drone out in the field is that the app is somehow already linked to your drone because uh, the app is connected to your RC controller and if the drone is supported from the app the information about the drone are already inside the app and you can plan of course with some limitation it depends on the app the automatic path that the drone will do in the field on the other hand on the other side a software um, even if it is actually but theoretically it is not linked to any drones to it's not linked physically to any drones so it has inside a kind of a database of drones profiles that can be used for allowing you to plan a mission first of all on the pc on the laptop and then bringing them inside the drone and bring the drone in the field in this video i'd like to show you how UGCS handle the profiles and the payloads um, in terms of the database that he has got inside it. So to access the database of uh, profiles, vehicles and payloads that UGCS, UGCS has got inside, you got to go here, three stripes, three horizontal white stripes, and that's the, you have the chance to access to the main menu and the main menu uh, the focus of, of this video in uh, will be these three uh, three block boxes number one is vehicles number two is profiles number three is payloads they are somehow uh, linked together so vehicles are the actually the vehicles that you as a UGCS user have registered inside UGCS. There's a kind of a procedure that you can follow uh, and you can find inside the UGCS manual. It's quite easy, but you have physically you have, you have to physically have and link your drones to UGCS. And when you've done, you will have uh, the vehicles that are somehow recognized by the software. And you can see here that these are my two vehicles, the vehicles that I use for working it's a phantom 4 pro and it's a dji spark and next to the name of the the common name there's a, a string of letters and numbers here and here and these are um, this defines the the drones that in this case i'm using so the phantom 4 pro or the dji spark so the vehicles are kind of limited in uh, in numbers here in this list because of course are the vehicles that you own as a, a drone pilot and you have chosen to register inside UGCS. But if you go here to if you go if you access to the profiles menu, there are a much more big numbers of vehicles listed. Uh, of course, the most of uh, of, of them are. DJI vehicles and I think that's because UGCS um, had uh, chosen to give DJI users the chance to use uh, the software uh, and that's because I think that DJI users are the mass majority of the drone pilot <laughs> all over the world and but there are also some other kind of drones that you can you can use but don't worry because there's a chance to build a completely custom 100 custom profiles for your vehicles so let's go to the dji phantom 4 pro that is the the profiles connected to the vehicles that i use and if you click here there's a, a filter that get rid of all the other drones and um, a profile is a combination between a platform and a payload. So the platform, you can you can see the, the main information here. So the type of the drone is a multi-copter. The platform is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro. The payload is the DJI Phantom Pro camera. These are 
the default settings that you can read if you ask the UGCS the information about the, this profile. If you left click here, in somewhere here in this uh, gray area, the window um, kind of scrolls down and you can read here a lot more of information about this. Maybe mainly it's the platform. So you can see information about the battery, charge battery voltage, normal battery voltage, uh, battery weight, you can see information about the GPS, normal number of satellites, low number of satellites, telemetry information, routing information, maximum number of waypoints, waypoint accept, accept, acceptance radius, uh, max altitude um, above ground level, uh, above medium sea level. So there are a lot of information here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can pause this video and check them out in order to see what are the information that can be read but also can be edited inside this profile just yes, because if you left click here you see you have the chance of copying editing removing so if you want to get rid of this profile and uh, i really do not suggest you to get rid of one of these main profile you can remove it of course i'm not going to do that you can edit this profile keeping the original one um, inalterated so you have to copy it you make a copy and there's a DJI Phantom 4 Pro copy and once you click copy automatically you enter the edit mode so the edit mode allows you to change every single feature that you can see listed here there's the DJI Phantom 4 Pro which I was showing you before and this is the copy so if I change information in here I can do whatever I want I'm, I'm just doing that of course in a random way I'm just even not looking what I'm changing but you can change whatever you want and after changing that you can save and if you save it you will have here here okay it's here it's not listening so i i click here dji phantom 4 pro when i click to dj in dji phantom 4 pro i got the original one and i got the copy so i can remove it i'm gonna remove the copy and the software will keep me the original one what does editing mean editing means that you can do whatever you want but of course you need to know what you're changing because these changes um do not affect the behavior of the drone in the field because they're not changing uh what inside the imu of the drone but they will change the options that you have in um, planning an automatic mission and of course if you plan an automatic mission um without taking in account the fact that the drones isn't capable of doing something because you actually changed it here maybe in the field you can have some bad issues so my recommendation is just changing what you are confident and comfortable in changing otherwise keep everything as it is that's the the, the way that i'm choosing so I, I didn't change anything inside this profile, so I just used the default profiles that are inside UGCS. Here's the platform. You can change the platform. Here's the payload. You can add another payload. But what are the payloads? The payloads are listed here. So I'm gonna hit cancel here and just go through the payloads. So left click here. And another list will pop up and this list contains the um, this list is filled with payloads which are mainly RGB camera so here we go that's the Phantom 4 Pro camera but I think there will there there are also other here we go XT2 DJI Zen use thermal so there are also um, FLIR tau there are also other sensors rather than uh, RGB sensor 
um, let's go through the Phantom 4 Pro camera because we are talking about Phantom 4 Pro left click here and you got the information about the camera so the weight true focal length sensor width sensor a sensor resolution and minimum triggering intervals of course you can change them as we as as i shown you uh for the the vehicles for the profile you can change the information or better saying the um, features of the camera bear in mind that this will have a huge impact if you are uh, for example planning a photogrammetric tool because if you change the sensor width and the sensor height, if you change the resolution if you change the focal lens the ground sampling distance the gsd factor will change and uh, so all the mission all the all the actions that the drone will do in order to survey an area will be different because of course uh, the overlap between two uh, two following pictures will be calculated in a different way so again be remind that you can change but be confident when you decide to change something so there are these are the payloads these are the profiles which are a combination between uh, a platform and a payload if you know where to put your ends and if you are a, a drone constructor you can start from zero and you just hit here create new and you can what, what you can do here is building starting from zero a brand new profiles so you have to change change you have to choose the name you have to choose the type between fixed wing helicopter multicopter or vto so it's a vertical landing vertical takeoff sorry vertical takeoff and landing um, you can change the platform of your drones between the one uh, among the one that you that are listed here you can add a payload so you can add a payload choosing one from this list so maybe uh here we go sony alpha six thousand select maybe you can choose a platform could be dji matrix 200 and then you have to fill here you have to fill this information because that that's what you've decided to do so uh it's it's so it's supposed that you know what you're doing and so you have to fill this information if you have to change something it's much better choosing um, a profile that already exists and copying at editing starting from the default the features and default values and that's it i have to fill this information here of course i'm not doing that because i, I do not know how to do them uh, when you fill this information and the these these orange boxes are mandatory so you have to fill them in order to allow UGCS to save uh, a new profile name when you, once you've done you you click save and the profile will be added here of course i'm gonna hit cancel and nothing has popped up has popped up here why vehicle why profiles are so important they are so important because when you start editing something inside UGCS and we'll go through them in the next videos the software will ask you uh, about the profiles the profile of the drones that you're gonna use so i'm gonna go back here just say um, um, just one more thing that is here the configuration here are some information about the settings about the language measurement sound performance appearance 3d map cache you can uh, choose to do not load the texture in 3d objects in order to have them upload it much more quickly but i'm not gonna show them because this is not the purpose of this video just one last thing go back a mission is uh, a box that contains some root add a new root create from scratch and the very first the very second things because the, the very first way thing is choosing between creating a new root or importing something um, you have to um, you have to select a, a root name you can just type here and do write whatever you want and then you have to select the profile so you have to select the combination between the platform and the payloads and once you select the profile you can keep on going on with your um, with your planning 
and the software will work with the information uh, that are related to that profile. So that's why selecting the profile is so important for working inside UGCS. If you do not select a profile, you cannot access to all the features that UGCS has inside for a mission planning. So I hope that this video was useful. We have just get started inside the, we just get started moving uh, the very first steps inside mission planning with UGCS. Next videos, I will talk about planning a new mission um, and we go through the options and the features of the software in next videos. If you have any questions, feel free to fill the comments below. Um, you can contact me at www.metricaltalks.com. Otherwise, you can find me on Telegram. Uh, telegram.me slash paolo corradeghini there's the link in the in the episodes note in this video notes thank you for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video and ciao